AI videos are incredible. It enables everyone to bring their ideas to life. But can we leverage this for video editing? Take this video as an example. Let's try making the skaters steer away from each other as they move forward. Text-driven video editing can generate impressive results. However, both the scene and the object often deviate too much from the original video. In this paper, we propose to use 3D tracks for precise video editing. Our approach enables precise editing of both object motion and camera trajectory, while preserving the high fidelity of the original video. With this flexible control, creators can translate abstract ideas into vivid, dynamic visual stories. Let's explore some example applications. One of the simplest operations is removing part of the 3D point tracks from the source video. This results in seamless object removal. Here we remove the man on the ground, creating the illusion of the woman floating in the air. It works for casual video without a green screen or tedious manual masking. This application is particularly useful for removing distracting objects from a video, like the photographer here. Or it can also be used just for fun. But it does not stop here. We can apply simple transformation on the point tracks, creating interesting shape deformation. For example, you can make your horse riding experience much more exciting. Point tracks offer remarkable flexibility. Here we take an ordinary video and independently move the point tracks on the background and the person. This produces a moonwalk effect. Of course, you can do this for your cat as well. But wait, how about multiple subjects? It's challenging to capture the perfect moment where everyone jumps into the pool at the same time. With our tool, it's a piece of cake. Not just timing, we can also synchronize the poses. But these are all about object motion editing. How about camera motion? Here is a handheld video, but without large viewpoint changes. Since our point tracks are in 3D, it's straightforward to project them onto a new camera trajectory. This allows us to change the viewpoints of dynamic videos. A practical application of dynamic view synthesis is to stabilize a shaky video. We can create a cinematic camera pass from a highly dynamic input video. Point tracks enable precise control over individual elements within a scene. By moving the point tracks on the hand, we also plausibly synthesize the associated effects like the color strokes here. In this example, we can precisely control the soccer ball's trajectory, making it follow a smooth spiral pass or you can rewrite the results of your shot. But what will happen when we don't specify the motion of all the point tracks? This is where the generated priors come to rescue. To demonstrate this, we take this simple video and remove the point tracks on the leg. By moving the tracks on the dock up and down, the model automatically generates realistic leg movements. Here is another example. Adding a simple translation of point tracks on the T-Rex body produces plausible walking motion. Going beyond 2D, our 3D point tracks naturally support 3D editing. Here we show that we can rotate the person in 3D from a single video. Of course, you can also make her rotate the other way. The access to 3D information is especially crucial when we want to specify precise depth ordering. Here are two editing examples with different depth orders. This is great, but the million dollar question is, how does it work? We start with an input source video. Our first step is to estimate camera poses and 3D point tracks from the video. The users can then precisely specify their editing intent by moving the camera poses and 3D point tracks. Next, we project these 3D point tracks onto the source and target viewpoints to get the corresponding 2D trajectories. However, these 2D trajectories specify only the camera and object motion and lock appearance cues. To address this, we first use an encoder to transform the input source RGB video into a compact latent representation. 
After cropping the source latents into patch tokens, we use the projected 2D tracks to sample visual contacts from the source video tokens. The sample video contacts along the trajectories is then redistributed back or splat into both the source and target frame spaces, establishing correspondence between the two domains. This gives us a pair of track tokens that have the same resolution of the source video latent. With this conditioning information, we are now ready to generate our Taki video using video diffusion. We initialize the Taki latent as pure Gaussian noise. In each denoising step, we take a noisy Taki latent ZT along with the conditioning latents into a series of transformer blocks to generate a less noisy latent. After multiple denoising steps, we can map the clean latent back to the target RGB video using a pre-trained decoder. Now we have the model, but the real challenge is about getting the training data. To train this model, we need the source input video, source and target camera poses and tracks, and the output target video. How do we get such data? We first leverage synthetic data. We generate random scenes in blenders and place a variety of characters who move around the environment and doing silly dance. As this is fully synthetic, we have the ground truth RGB videos and the corresponding 3D track pairs. But the appearance from synthetic videos are far from realistic. Therefore, we need to collect real video data for training. Our key idea is to construct such source target pairs directly from monocular videos. More specifically, we randomly sample a clip as the source video and another non-overlapping clip with a temporal gap as the target video. The source target video pair naturally captures changes in both camera and object motion. After training, we can apply the model to achieve a wide range of editing applications. However, several challenges remain unsolved. In this video, for example, the model fails to synthesize realistic motion when there are complex dynamics. This is because the 3D tracks extracted from the source video are densely clustered and noisy. As a result, our model produces visual artifacts and distortion. Another challenge is modeling complex motion-dependent physical effects, such as the liquid dynamics in the coffee and milk mixing example. Ideally, we hope the liquid dynamics of mixing would be transferred to the cup on the right. Unfortunately, that did not happen and the resulting video is not physically plausible. Overcoming these challenges will make AI video motion editing more reliable and robust. We are super excited about the new capabilities this tool unlocks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.